I'm Brian, and I'm going to review for you The Connection Algorithm, Take Risks, Defy the Status Quo, and Live Your Passions by Jesse Tevelo. The title itself pulled me into this, and what this book is about, of course, is about connection. In terms of the formula, it's really input to output from a particular function. And how he puts it is the function for personal growth is risk times a variable plus relationships times a variable. And that may sound confusing, but I think what, what he wants to reveal is that everything is connected. The book is a good mix of a biography, data, graphs, his opinion, structures and lists, very logical and how different connections are created. And he uses stories of this Cambodian named Meng To. So he's being a bit creative in this as well. And he starts up things with a negative most of the time, which that is his strategy, he turns things from a negative to a positive, much like the other book, much like the book. I've not read the book, but Seth Godin's The Dip. Also, I think what it means, it's you get a setback to get back. And he uses the narrative of neg hitting and then an uprising to cause a response in you. It's written in a very genuine matter. It's his first book. He spent about a year writing this. And one thing that really connected with this guy is he quoted the movie The Matrix four or five times, which I find very odd that someone would do that. And he must really like The Matrix. He calls the place that most people are living in zombie land. And I understand this. Is some people are just walking around like zombies, not knowing what they're doing, just kind of going with their instincts and just not living a life of passion. What he struggled with, you know, he started with businesses, college, and it's a tale of his story, but he wants to pursue passion. He cares really nothing about the money, but he does want it and will make sacrifices for it. He tries to explain things in a fun way to get out of the beach mode, to get out of the swamp that you're in, and to get yourself into a reality where you can take steps forward to get into a, a real life worth living. One of his modes that he took to get better was that P90X, where that is a self-motivating workout program. And he actually got contacted by Tony Horton somehow because he did a life altering, because he actually changed his body. He shows a picture of himself in it, how he changed his body. Another person that I met, you know, I know the guy, I've talked to him a few times. You could check out Joe Bovino's book, A Field Guide to Chicks of the United States. I will be doing a review of that book as well in the future. And he was actually in the P90X DVD. It's a small world. And one of the things that makes Jesse so relatable is that he shares you with you his insecurities, his worry, his weaknesses, and his self-doubt, which makes this very relatable and makes the story very genuine. You're really able to connect with him. And also, he suffered a great deal of self-confidence. I think he still suffers a little bit. He doesn't have that assertiveness that you can sense in the book, but he published this book on his own, self-published, and he's on the upswing. Also, there's minimalism where where he puts it as, you know, you don't need much in your life. To focus on what's important, you have to get rid of this junk food culture that we live in. He's from a small city near Washington, D.C., and he lives down in Southern California now, but it's become a junk food culture. You have to find passion in your life. And he puts it as being focused, being focused on something, anything, really, anything but the TV and stupid distractions. And he calls it his four C's, choose, commit, create, and connect. And you really have to, this is a good, simple model. So you have to choose what you want. You have to commit to it and you have to create. And when you create something, you can be able to connect with people, places, things, pretty much that is how he makes a connection. And in order to get out of zombie land, you have to be aware. Some of the other details that I liked in the book is that you have to have the humility to ask for help. To also, another thing I learned from this was from Tim Ferriss. I have read his book, but I forgot. It's called The Parkinson's Law. And that is the time duration to get something done. And what you have to do is accelerate that focus and accelerate on that time frame to get something accomplished also he goes through his his other methods of you know discovery he goes 
he does a cold calling, which is really a cold approaching and just going for it, not just sitting still. He makes it a point to have fun and to have a relationship builder model to stay connected with people. Also, he mentions the PayPal Mafia. I'm well aware of this. I live in Northern California. You could check out my Elon Musk video. And to really think big, that's who Elon Musk is. And in order to stay connected, you got to go to, you can do all kinds of things nowadays. You can go to meetups, conferences, you can go online. And here's a list of some of the other things you can learn is you can use positive affirmation to counter issues. He has a statement of the attitude of gratitude. And you got to be humble enough to learn, especially with these apprenticeships that are happening. I don't recommend being an intern. In terms of the new economy and the new new entrepreneurship culture, you are your own brand. You are an apprentice. You are your own company, dot inc. Focus on the counterintuitive. Look for deep connections. And here are some people that you can check out too. It's Brad Feld. He wrote a book called Startup Communities. Leo Bapawata. He's a Zen master from Guam. You could check out Tony Horton's book. And this is something I learned from this. Is the, it's called relative deprivation. You're always comparing yourself to someone. It's more of an insecurity thing. I think this is what Jesse you know, struggled with. He struggled with the insecurity of comparing himself to others, not feeling you know, that self-esteem to be good enough. Be a connector and don't wait for things to happen. And what I didn't like a book, about the book is I didn't really care too much about the healthcare chapters. I know it's really important in terms of connection, but I didn't really care for that. Also, I don't think he challenges himself enough. I think that's what one of the mistakes that he makes in his, has made in his life is that he puts this paradigm of the snake pit versus the spa, kind of like Indiana Jones versus someone who's chilled and laid back and joined the spa at a spa resort, is that you have to challenge yourself. You got to go where it's wild. And I don't think he actually does that. I mean, I think you do get tougher by going outdoors. Also, I don't agree with internships, especially the big corporate model. I think it's just more of a junk model. They just want free work. But if you do an accelerator and apprenticeship, which he did through his Techstars company that he went to, as well as his entrepreneurship startup, is that you have to seek mentorship. And I think this is really, really important. You have to find mentors and you have to seek and strive for mastery of any subject, whether it be something you know you don't have to do or want to do, but you want to be passionate about something. You want to strive for mastery. Also, just like the other book I reviewed, End of Jobs, he does cross-promote like crazy, but I think this is just to give himself proof and recognition, recognition as a social proof. Also, he put in his one of his websites that he's a nice guy, and I don't agree with nice guys, really. I think nice guys finish last, but he's changing. He's, he's doing a good job. He has another book, which I'll check out too as well. Being nice is not the way of the man. Also, I think he's way too negative in this book. Jesse needs to understand that being a hard-charging optimist is the way to go. When in doubt, be positive. But I think that's one of his tactics that he uses to humanize the book. I'm going to run down some things that I also learned from this book. Is that to declutter, you know, keep it minimalist, but also he's an Evernote fan, and I'm a big Evernote fan as well. I wrote two books on it. Also, he uses this program called Slack, and that's a great program for messaging between a group of people. Also, I did receive this book for free. It was on, it was on Amazon Kindle. It was he put it for free, so I downloaded this book. I like the concepts that he had, where he says, "Get out of zombie land, chase your passions, connect, send out the minimal viable product, be sincerely genuine, use aggressive deadlines with the Parkinson's law." And I think that's something that I really want to work on is to set deadlines. I think I lack that. I'm more of a free spirit is that to press yourself and push yourself because I could accumulate all this knowledge and data, but at the end of the day, it's all about taking action and be conscious of time. Time is everything. Like he's a big fan of Evernote and you can't store beauty and fertility. Being minimalist in America, especially with this more is better mentality, go for it, write a book, take the red pill. As you've seen it before, he mentioned Matrix. He has five quotes from the Matrix. I really enjoyed this book and I really liked what Jesse had to offer. This is his first book, so I'm glad he shipped this out. He spent, as I said before, a year writing this, and many people can have nerds, and he 
And also, I just appreciate it because I, I do get these books for free. I didn't receive it from Jesse. I downloaded it because he offered it for free through Amazon Kindle. Also, you can follow me on my social media channels. All of them are Elephant Game. So my Snapchat is one I really use. It's called Elephant Game. So you can follow me there and you can get free books and you can see what also I'm reviewing. And I also go through books that are cheap and worth reading. I think you should value taking risks in your life. Just go for it. You can always say you are fucking up my chi, my vibe, my high. But choose a connection algorithm and connect.